this video we're going to cover imprinting on the scent of narcotics we're using tubes so that the dog can stick his nose safely in there and hit the scent and get rewarded with a tennis ball remember in the first few videos we showed you how to imprint the dog on the scent using a simple hot dog a, a sit in a can and getting the dog used to it in this video we're show we're now we're giving the dog options of where that scent is and when he finds it we give him the we give him a reward which is a tennis ball so this actually took three people because one is recording one has to move the uh the the tubes around because my scent would be on the tubes if i was moving them around this what makes it better so i'm leading him just like you would do in the uh, search pattern to each one of the tubes to make a decision and once he hits the scent he goes right in and he's digging, he's digging, he's digging because he knows that his reward is going to be the tennis ball. And I'm making it easy for him. I'm not throwing it while he's got a head in the set because I want him to know that he found, he did good, this is a great game. And when he finds the scent, he gets his ball. So again, you got to lead the dog and show him. You see, he's so excited, he's going back to the tube. So we're going to slow it down real quick. I'm actually leading him to each tube to investigate so that he knows the difference in when he finds the scent and when he doesn't. And then I'm bringing him back around to each tube. Now we're on, we should be coming up to the tube. Watch how his body changes once he finds the scent. He digs in and he starts going in for it. He knows he's found the scent and next is gonna come his tennis ball because he's in there and he's digging in. That scent was uh, associated with those hot dogs when we were first imprinting him with the clicker. So that's how we got him to do that. Here we go again. He wanted to go straight to it if you watched it. He knew exactly where it was. But I had to bring him back because remember we're going back to pattern searches. We don't want the dog to work off key, but we want him to work what we want. Him. And you see he's found the scent, so he's excited. He's on the back of it, he's going to front, he's digging in down deep. This is imprinting. Before we make it harder for the dog, we're gonna go in stages. We can start by using um and out of this out of the tube you know get them going here what i'm doing is i've got to i'm going to brush up on some obedience and the reason why is because i want him to start sitting in front of the tube instead of just digging it later on so i'm going to start working him on a passive alert versus and you know a more non-passive one where he's more aggressive and digging into the tube because you don't want him digging in someone's car or their house or their drawers you want him to sit next to the scent so we need to work on that obedience to get that so right now i'm just working on a little obedience to get him going and doing a little um healing and everything but this was right after training so you notice he's starting to sit real good but that is uh that is the start of imprinting your dog on scent tubes and getting them going. If you watch the other two videos, you'll see how I got. Madison Bell, Jimmy Shepard.